do you know that a one by one by one cross cube check it out is a two by two by two inside out if we take just one by one by one and we make a cross cube out of it it's not a cube but it is related with a cube because it's a two by two by two cube inside out and what does this exactly mean is that for example we turn it like each cube it has corners centers and edges we kind of turn a cube and we and we exchange the corners with the centers so if we look at the fisher cube um it's a cube where centers uh so where corners and edges they are changed in, in reverse and if we do the same thing with each of the cube which is even um if we take a four by four by four for example we know the puzzle it's uh if we transform it into a rhombic dodecahedron we will get a rhombic dodecahedron and in fact len len produces it but there is a second variation of that because uh, if we do the same thing with a tetrahedron we get an f cube and it is kind of doubled just because there are two types of turns but when we go from the tetrahedron to a cube we realize that a cube out of a cube it does not turn because a cube does not turn cannot turn on the corners if it's a normal rubik's cube it turns out that a tetrahedron is a dual of itself a cube it is not it, because it's an octahedron which is a dual so a puzzle which is a rhombic dodecahedron out of a cube so a cube it, it turns like this and like this but two halves they are identical and it does not work with other shapes like that it gets more interesting so if we take a cross cube in fact i have this one here a three by three by three cross cube and if i transform it into a rhombic dodecahedron it will look pretty much the same as that 4x4x4 four by four by four rhombic dodecahedron but instead it will be kind of exchanged it will be inside out and that's what i mean um because here the faces they can be turned because they are baby faces but on a 4x4x4 four by four by four puzzle uh, the blocks if we look it has eight Two by two by two blocks and they cannot be turned but instead it can turn halfway like a two by two by two so in fact if we think for a moment a two by two by two it can be turned inside out because by turning a two by two by two tetrahedron inside out it is just the tips of a pyramid to be honest but if we turn it inside out we get the same puzzle but geometrically with the cube it works differently and i'm going to make a um, pyraminx ultimate it is here but it is a bad way to make it it's too bad it doesn't turn too well too much cubes for this no no no, no. i will make it more rational it will be harder to solve it will be the same puzzle it will r r repeat itself it will, it will be fully functional but it will be more interesting it will be harder and it will be more weird it will be something interesting it will be inside out i'm going to make it out of a four by four by four it's in fact land land produces this puzzle too so i'm going to
make it myself. I will do this. The puzzle will have eight uh, blocks. Each will be different color, but the pieces, all the pieces in a single block, they will be the same color. It's like on the 4x4x4 four by four by four tribus octahedron and some other landland puzzles. It will have eight groups of different colors. I will take a 4x4x4, four by four by four, I will cut each, each edge 45 degrees and the corner, the corners they will be triangular like on the master morphics. So it's it's as simple as that. That's the way how we should make it, because it will be the the same sort of thing. Here we will have the five by five by five centers, in fact, but they are we we have six of these centers, and they are all square. Now, on that puzzle, if we look at like at it like this. We will have, in fact, eight, just imagine, eight centers, eight, and, but they will be triangular, they will not be, like, square, they will be triangular, which means they are easier to solve, but they are more tricky to solve, especially the last two centers, which are triangular, they are, they are not too hard, they are just tricky to solve, so, If we look at it like this, in fact, it's interesting. And the difficulty will be is that they cannot be turned like, like here. They they cannot be turned, just simply turned because, it, but they can be turned like a two by two by two. They can be flipped using the corner flipping. So if we think, because. This cross cube, in fact, it has like when we turn a, a baby face, we, in fact, uh, if we know the Rubik's cube notation, we can either turn a face like if it's a single layer, or we can we, we write the letter W if you know that notation. So, so it's two variants. E either that or that. So, in fact, we, when we make a turn, we turn either the baby face or all of those one, two, three, four layers. So, I imagine if we turn the up layer one turn clockwise, it's the same thing as we turn the other layers kind of clockwise. We can in fact, do it like that each time with this puzzle. But it's just too tricky to solve that way, so we prefer just to turn this face. Because why should we make it harder if... But with the puzzle like this, we will have to make it harder. So that's uh, the, the idea. So I found a pretty cool way, in fact, to make uh, no, I will not be making a rhombic dodecahedron out of this crazy 3x3x3. Three by three by three. I will not make like, this puzzle like Pyramid's Ultimate. I will not. And in fact, this 5x5x5 five by five by five cross cube, if we think, uh, a 6x6x6, six by six by six, it, it is in fact um, this puzzle inside out. So, to make a 5x5x5 five by five by five cross cube, I used a 7x7x7 seven 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 like Nathan Wilson did. Uh, so it's not a good way because the extensions they can break sometimes. But it, it's a cool puzzle, I will have to remake it because the 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven, it was colored and I should have done it with the white. Sheng Xiaomini 7x7x7, why did it? Okay. So, in, so, there is an easier way to make a Pyramid's Ultimate puzzle. 
maybe a 4x4x4 four by four by, by four, like inside of this cross cube it's not a good idea but a 4x4x4 four by four by four transformed just truncated a little and with pieces filled I think it's a better idea than this puzzle because we, we um, get a pretty interesting puzzle it is uh, trickier, it is more weird and it's more interesting and it's just it's just very cool after all so I am going to make it if I explained everything correctly so that you did understand it I'll actually make it out of an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight. so I cut it a little I will finish the corners we will need to so there are edges the 24 edges so there and there and we will need to round them a little bit like like three millimeters because an eight by eight by eight it is not proportional and we need to make uh, it look like it's it's pr 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 proportional because here the pieces they are like two of the centers and we need to make them the same size as here and because the normal size is one two square root of two but not one to two so we will need to round it and actually it will compensate because an eight by eight by eight it is pillowed so the six so the center the cent so those squares which we reduce while solving an 8 by 8 by 8 6 of the, the, the 6 squares 6 by 6 yeah they are a little bit pillowed so when we round it will be not that noticeable so the whole puzzle it will be like like this bound it will be it will be A little bit less not, not noticeable and we will have to put we will have to fill the pieces and put uh, eight colors it's the same as on the 4x4x4 four by four by four tribus our acrohedron so it will have eight blocks all one color <laughs> 